A small eastern South Dakota town is raising money for a new community building. Capital Lands Carter Schmidt shows us what they have planned in Aurora and how you can help the project move forward. Aurora City Hall and Fire Station is showing its age. There's parts of the building that we can't even access because of uh, just being old and not upkept. So um, we just feel that you know the company or the the city. Um, would benefit from something that we could use more of. The city doesn't have the money for a new building, so it turned to a Chase the Ace fundraiser. Our community is growing. We felt the need that we needed to have something for the community there, so we decided to go with this fundraiser. The project would include building a new city hall, fire hall, and community center building to replace this one, which was built in the early 1900s. Anybody can buy tickets for the fundraiser in Aurora or online using Venmo. If you draw the ace of spades, then you get half of our pot, which is currently sitting at $3,900. Um, you would take home that plus 10% of the weekly ticket sales. And um, each week, as the cards are drawn, the deck gets smaller, and so your chance to get that big ace of spades is, is increasing each week. They hope to have the new building up in the next four to five years, an important addition to the growing community. In 2010, we had around 500 uh, people living in Aurora. And then uh, this last census, um, we're a little under 1,000 people. In Aurora, Carter Schmidt, Kelland News. And they hold drawings every Thursday night at local businesses, and tickets are $5 each. The Chase the Ace has become a big fundraiser around these areas. It is, and it's been really successful, too. Yes. Yeah.